Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Wednesday the 21st and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, decent time frame. Wife got up and got off to work without issue. And no dogs here, so I had nothing to worry about with that. But I did go jump in the hot tub for a little bit. Um, got out of there, got a couple of things done here and there uh, around the house. Had my little morning cigar and then started working. I decided to go ahead and start doing a little yard work early. Normally I wait till later in the day. That way, once I get finished up with all my work, get my run in, all that kind of stuff, I get a shower. Wife gets home from work shortly after that or sometimes even before that. And then it just, we spend our evening together. Where if I do a bunch of work in the yard early, then I get a shower and I go back outside, especially if I have dogs and stuff from outside. I get sweaty just sitting out there again if I'm just watching the dogs. Then I feel like I need another shower. So I just feel bad about wife getting home and I'm all gross so but decided to go ahead and get my yard work started early mostly because I was like gonna be gone for the next few days I want to make sure it's get it all finished up before then so had a bunch of yard work to get done had to mow the front yard of my house front and back cross the street it was hot enough already even when I started early that the battery was shutting off it was kicking off early and whatnot so had some issues getting the battery power didn't have enough batteries to even mow the three yards let alone if okay, I could already done the backyard at my house yesterday so but I was like well I don't know what else to do I can't really like my, even my leaf my weed eater my leaf blower everything's running off of those same batteries so I'm like holy crap so I went and broke out another charger that I had because I usually just use the one charger it's the best charger I got I got a off I got a, a smaller less quality charger but it come from ego so I mean it's still rated for it but not as efficient so went and hooked it up also so I get extra batteries charging and broke out my gas powered edger and started doing a bunch of edging and stuff on the property not really needed but it was needed it was time but didn't have to do it today had my batteries not died i wouldn't have done it today but got that done was um getting a good chunk of it edged around both properties and then realized my battery was fully charged so i could get back to mowing that battery luckily takes enough charge that I was able to finish the rest of the yards with the mower then i went back to the edger finished up I was well I didn't get it finished finished but I was in the process of working with it again and then out of nowhere it started sprinkling I'm like ah no big deal just a gas powered ledger it'll be fine I looked down the street and you could see the wall of water coming at me and it was just torrential downpour it was like holy crap so I headed back in got caught in the rain a little bit but luckily it got in before the monsoon hit and it just straight poured rain here it was just so hard and so fast it was ridiculous so i was like oh, i guess it's time to take a break so i headed back inside i'm covered in grass and gross and just just gross so end up um clean myself up a little bit and then got some laundry done getting ready for my trip that i'm taking off tomorrow on and just little things that have to be done before you go on a trip but just you don't think about it but got a few things accomplished nothing too major and then um realized that rain and quit so I went back out um finished up part of my edging didn't do all of it i didn't do the north side of the drive i was just like ah hell with it it's not important one i think people don't look that as much because you park on the drive and you walk the south of the drive up to the house so good sidewalks up the house and stuff so i got it all taken care of and then got the yard the sidewalk and stuff blown off best i could after the rain so didn't look perfect but it was what it was i'd also had worked on some sprinkler heads so i checked on them they seem to be working fine the repairs that i made so that's always good and then decided to go ahead and get my run in and talk to my wife talked to her asked what we're planning on having for dinner because we kind of discussed what she was going to buy over the weekend for this week and she goes well i think we're doing leftover spaghetti again right i'm like oh okay usually you don't want to do anything three nights in a row it's night i make it second night leftovers and i throw it away and she's like no i'm good with that we can do it i'm like okay so that saved me hassle of what we're doing. So I was like, cool. Got my run in, got back from my run, got myself a shower. Shortly after that, wife got home. Um, she came into the garage, which she doesn't do normally, but now that she's parking her car in there, it gave me a chance to startle her. So gave her a little scare. She came into the kitchen, which is always fun. So, but yeah, went ahead from that. Um, we basically um, decided to go ahead and eat early, just kind of get eaten pretty quick so we talked about our day talked about my day some how it went complained about the rain and she goes deep rain at work which is literally three miles away didn't even rain there at all 
And she's like, nothing. I was like, wow, you gotta be kidding me, that's crazy. So we had a good little chuckle about it. But they were a little bit short on spaghetti, but had enough that I'll survive. So she had hers, I had mine, and then watched an episode of Young Sheldon. After that, hit it back outside and gave her the tour of kind of things I needed to look at, like the fence and stuff and things to check. And a lot of those little things I've been doing, like showing her how to like empty the dehumidifier and how I work the thermos every day. And not that it's, she doesn't know how to do this stuff. It's just, she doesn't. I've never shown her in this house since we've lived here because I've done everything all the time. And you don't realize how many of those little things you do every day that are just part of my routine. That I'm like, oh, I need you to do. One of the big things is with, cause she'll have a dog here this weekend, is I want her to go walk the fence line every morning. Doesn't be the very first time out, but it needs to be like, before you leave the dog out there, let her out to pee, bring her back in. Probably no big deal. But sometimes we get armadillos that will dig under your fence and stuff. And I don't want her getting out. So showed her basically go check the gates, make sure nobody tried to break into my yard overnight and make sure no neighborhood dogs or armadillos and crawled under my fence, leaving a hole. Showed her the materials I have to patch up the holes and fill in the holes and cover up the holes if that was to come up and different little situations, kind of how we are. Showed her about the hot tub, showed her about the pool, just all those general daily things that happen. So, but yeah, walked around, got that all done, and she headed back in. I went ahead and finished up my laundry, got it all the dryer and whatnot, and then got it all hung up. And I headed back out, had myself a nice evening cigar, kind of relaxing for the day. Checked in with my cousin, let her know the flight times, and told her that my wife will usually track the flight. She has like a little, I don't know, app on the phone thing that tracks your flights that things get directed, redirected, or delayed, or canceled, or whatever. Then she'll let my cousin know, so that way she's not waiting at the airport for me. And because I remember years ago, we had a car blow up, uh, blew an engine. My brother was sitting on Mustang heading to the airport. We were flying to Oklahoma. Of course, Mr. Flight to me had cell phones, nothing. So my aunt went to the airport to pick up two young kids that were flying in that literally we never showed up. And of course, she don't have a cell phone. We don't have a cell phone. So finally somebody, I'm not sure who, was able to get a hold of back, back in Iowa. We were flying out of Kansas City Airport and got a hold of them. They come down with a trailer and whatnot to pick us up and pick up the car. And then was able to reach her through the phone. I had to call the airport and page her and stuff. But I was, look back at that i'm like how did we get anything accomplished back then it's so crazy so but that's not the case now but once i'm on the plane my phone won't work so won't be able to communicate with her so my wife will be able to keep her updated and all that good fun stuff so said so there's like a cell phone lot i guess by the kansas city airport that she can go sit in and i told her i said just do whatever you want to do you know i can wait until you get there so it's not a big deal so I think there's a chance the flight might be getting delayed or whatever I have no problem standing around outside waiting for you because Kansas City Airport's not a big deal. So, yeah, we got that all kind of figured out and all that good fun stuff. So, yeah, pretty much that was it. Um, headed back in, had myself a little snack, watched a little bit of Frasier for my bride, and wrapped it up and called it a night. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.